What's up, home slices? Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna do a really quick little video about a pretty authentic morning routine when it comes to my makeup because my class starts in 20 minutes, so this is like in real time. So, hope you enjoy. Um, my makeup routine is pretty simple, easy. Um, not very bougie at all, so. So kind of a weird setup, but just bear with me. I washed my face already. So when I wash my face, I always have to moisturize after just because my face is really dry. So I just put this moisturizer on all over, and this is Larry K Time Wise, so just try to avoid those wrinkles, you know what I mean, ladies? So then, I actually take this other um, tinted moisturizer, from Mary Kay as well, where a lot of my stuff is from. Actually, I don't know, it just depends sometimes, but usually I like put it on my hands, just kind of a blob, and just put it all over my face. Um, I'm actually pretty tan right now for my standards, because I'm in Arizona, the sun is more prevalent here. That's just how it is. And so, um, yeah, I don't know, this moisturizer, or this tinted moisturizer is just kind of extra moisture because I have really dry skin. But it's also gives a, like just a little bit of an even playing tone. So normally I don't put on actual foundation, so that's only when I'm feeling extra bougie. I take Mary Kay, again, protecting concealer. And this, like I said, I'm tanner than normal. This is actually a little too light for me at the moment. I do not go hard. Like people who do the triangles, I don't understand. I literally put those two dots under my eyes. And then just find a couple places where I have some little blemishes. And then I just take a beauty blender and blend that in. Sometimes I do concealer before foundation. I used to, and then I started watching James Charles. He does concealer after foundation. But I think I'm actually gonna go back, because I, I don't know. It just works better for my skin, maybe. So yeah, that's basically my face. And then normally, I just take this lovely palette here. It's called the Blushed Nudes. It's from Walmart, so it's very drugstore-esque. It's Maybelline, and as you can see, it's well-loved. Do a little ASMR here for you. So I just take this palette and just a general like eyeshadow brush. This is called Eye Crease Brush by Mary Kay, so I'm kind of breaking the rules, but I like to be rebellious sometimes. Hashtag Katniss Everdeen. Typically, this is my favorite color. As you can see, it's gone, but it's like a nice gold. Plenty of time. 15 minutes till my class starts. This is real time, people. Well, it just kind of depends. I really just am kind of like boop -de boop -de boo you know, like I just mix it all together and go on my eyelid. Honestly, I use a lot of this top section here, and then these are the ones I used to like, fill in my crease. You can't see the colors really well, but so yeah, I'm just taking those lighter colors on my eyelid and almost up to my brow, and then I'll take one of these lower browny, bronzy um, colors and kind of put it in the crease to be like, hey, look. This is where my eyeball's at. It might be what makes someone fall in love with you, is the shape of your eyeballs. You don't know. But I take this same palette and I use this color. This It's like it's like a light pink, orangey, shiny color. <laughs> and I actually use this as a little highlighter. And I just apply it with this same brush. But um, I didn't bring any highlighter with me in Arizona because I typically don't really use it, but I've been into the highlighter look, so I'll put it on my brows as well, just for fun. I don't know how to contour. I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all. I don't know how to do it. I have bronzer that sometimes when I'm really pale, I'll just kind of use to be like, look, I have a face. But now that I'm um, a lot tanner than normal, I haven't been using bronzer because I'm like, the sun was my natural bronzer, so just being sustainable using nature. I sometimes wear blush, but typically not to class. And honestly, it's because I get really hot really easily, like my face gets hot, and so my cheeks get flushed. So then I just take the eyelash curler, which I recently started using, and I'm not very good at it, as you can tell. Don't even know if I got an eyelash in there. My whole body's engaged. I try to do that, and then I just take this Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara, which I actually really love. 
So also um, eyeliner is something that is not typically in my routine. Um, I love eyeliner, I think it really adds to the look, but so sometimes a little much for class. I usually put it on pretty thick. I guess I could put it on thinner and look more like a normal human being. Then I take this Revive Lavender Spray. I got it from a farmer's market in Sedona. Essential oils of eucalyptus, lavender, and mint, aloe vera, water, antibacterial preservations. Yeah, so. I'm gonna do an ASMR video one day, just see wait. I just... And then I kind of just give my whole body a spritz, put some Vaseline on my lips to give them some hydration, and I just do it straight up with my finger. Um, usually I use Vaseline or Carmex right now. I don't know where my Carmex is. That's not unusual for me. I just have really dry skin. Using this little guy, and it's from Target. I don't even know the brand. This is what it kind of looks like. It's like this mauve kind of sparkly gloss, and then. I just apply it to my bottom lip and then smush it into my top lip. And it gives a really pretty look. I put on some deodorant. <laughs> Keeping it funky and fresh. I use this for body spray, Victoria's Secret, Secret Dreamer, which I don't know what that means, but here we are. I'm gonna use this, just kind of spritz around and boom. Here's my finished makeup look. Um, very natural as you can see. Um, but just a little something something to say hey what's up world so I really am liking the dewy look the natural look bronzy eyes so yeah that's it for this video hope you enjoyed this really authentic get ready with me so I gotta go to class bye